Hey everyone, Antoinette here. Today, I'm gonna to talk about five social situations that introverts tend to avoid and the reason why. Now, I'm giving this from my perspective as an introvert. However, all introverts differ in how much they like to socialize. However, one of the misconceptions is they don't wanna socialize at all, but there are five situations that most of the time introverts do tend to try to avoid. The first social situation that introverts tend to avoid are work socials. Whether it is a holiday party with people from work or an after work happy hour, a lot of times you will see introverts decline these invitations or maybe they'll say, I'll try to be there or I may be there and they end up not showing up. One of my extroverted clients could never understand why one of his introverted team members was not showing up at the office socials. This was a time of bonding and he couldn't understand why she wouldn't show up. And the reason why introverts tend to avoid these type of events is because it is a completely different environment than the work environment. The work environment, there is a common focus on task at hand, work to do. However, in these social situations with people they work with, they're having conversations about things that are outside of the task. And even if they like the people that they work with, it's still a different environment. So it creates a different dynamic and a different pressure for introverts to feel like they need to reveal things that are more personal about themselves and have personal conversations that they might not feel comfortable doing with people that they work with. The next social situation they tend to avoid are those social situations where they know that they're not going to really know anybody there, even if you are the one that is inviting them. And you're thinking, well, you'll at least know me. But the introvert knows that when they go with you to this social event or this social gathering, you're going to be mingling. You're going to be talking to people. You may be more extroverted and more able to go and initiate introductions with other people, but they know that that is not in their comfort zone. So it's not something that they really want to do. The next social situation that they tend to avoid are social situations and gatherings that don't have any kind of specific structure to them other than just mingling around and talking and people getting to know each other. So for instance, if it's a social gathering such as, hey, we're going to go watch this sporting event, then there is an event that they're going to be able to get a break from and not have to talk to people. Or if you're going to a concert, there's a specific thing that you're going to for this social. But if it's just, hey, we're going to go hang out and we're going to go meet people and we're going to go talk and there's going to be a lot of small talk and a lot of just unstructured conversation, that tends to be something that is not enjoyable for introverts. And so they tend to avoid those kind of gatherings. Before I get to number four, if you're liking this video, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel, which is all from an introvert's perspective, all about communication and understanding introverts. The next situation they tend to avoid is a social situation where they don't have the option to be able to leave whenever they want to. They don't have their escape. So if it's a social situation where they're having to, for instance, ride or go with a group of people and they're not gonna be able to leave when they want to, that is gonna be a social situation that they usually will avoid because an introvert feels like they're trapped they can't leave the situation whenever they want to. So when this happens, it's likely they're going to avoid going at all. And the next one that they tend to avoid are social situations where there's going to be a large number of people. Introverts pre prefer one-on-one -on -one or smaller groups rather than large groups. When there's a lot of people, when there's a lot of noise, when there's a lot of social stimulation, it can be really exhausting. And I've got a video above and in the description below that talks about how introverts do get socially exhausted, and it's a real thing. So you may be asking, what is a large group? Is it 10 people? Is it 20 people? Is it 100 people? 
it's all dependent on what the how the introvert feels if it's a large group and you may go what what does that mean think of it like public speaking some people will say well i really am uncomfortable speaking to a large group of people well what may be a large group of people to someone else may be a small group so it really does depend on the perspective of the introvert as far as what is a large group of people now are you an introvert and do you have other social situations that you tend to avoid for certain reasons if so please include those in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other thanks for watching